Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Leroy here at Sherman Studio Audio Camp in Bordeaux, France. I'm here for Plug-In Masters to introduce Arturia Comp DO609 Compressor Limiter. This is designed after the famous Neve 33609. Okay, so the group that we're going to use is Chevron, a French group, and the name of the song is called Hopes and Dreams. Let's take a listen, y'all. I'm actually going to join this band. They need another singer. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So let's talk about what we're doing here. So there's a couple of features on the machine. You have the compressor here, where the threshold starts from 0 to 40. You also have the attack. This is a new feature because the original unit doesn't have this. Um, if you leave it on fix, that's pretty much the normal way of using the Neve. But they added some new features that you can adjust the attack from five milliseconds to 75 milliseconds. Recovery time or release time starts from 100 milliseconds up to 1,500 milliseconds. You also have auto mode, which is A1 and A2. I pretty much don't use those. I'm gonna start with 100 because it's very fast. All right, you have your makeup gain. You have your ratio. Normally, the original Neve starts at 1.5 all the way up to 6.1. But they added some new features on the ratio 1.1 and 1.2. This is your on button right here. When it's, when it's up, it's in the in position, and that means it's on. This one is the limiter section. You have your threshold from 0 to 40. You also have a recovery time from 50 milliseconds up to 800 milliseconds in auto mode, also A1 and A2. You have your attack and fast. And that's set at two point, I mean two milliseconds, and slow is four milliseconds. Also, you have to use the in or out to also activate it. Here you have your V meter, and you can see this is a traditional one. And if you click on here, you can actually see more in a digital way. So let's click at that. Now you can see that the blue is actually the wave, and the yellow or orange is actually the compression. Okay. So the next thing is we have three buttons located here. And those buttons will help you link and unlink the machine. You have do mono, stereo. You can even go to mid-sides. And finally, you have a button right here. It's called a mix button. You can mix in the dry signal with the wet. But I'm going to use it as wet. And then they added something else that's really cool. It's an advanced feature right here where you can work on your mid-side or side-chaining compressor. Use it for your kick and your um, bass and your pads. But we're not going to use that, so we're going to click back on that. Also, if you look at when you put your arrow on, on any of the functions, you get a report right there, some definitions of what it does. Also, too, you have a stop control button. That means when you go here to threshold, it goes into 2 dBs from 0 to 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 etc. But when you put it on step control, it's actually frees up the knob and you can use it any way you want. You also got a couple of readings on your DB. You have a bypass button, just in case you want to do that. And you have um, other information here and some presets too. You can save your presets or you can use the presets. At the end. Okay, so let's continue and I'm going to explain to you what I'm using it on the mixed bus on this particular song. So the first thing I'm going to do is fix my ratio. 1.5, I'm still a traditionist. You know, I'm gonna keep it like the real machine. I didn't touch the makeup gain. Recovery is on 100 because that's fast as the machine can go just in case any, any instruments, and like especially drums, we need to make sure it's fast. The attack, I kept on fixed like the original machine. The threshold, I got that to 22, uh, point 22, okay? So let's take a listen to that, listen to the song. Now you can see I'm compressing a little bit past 4 dB. Let's take a look at that. You can see what it's doing, 4.8. Nice. I really like that feature right there, too, that you can switch. 
from the old school to the new school. There's no such thing as that. But all right. So now one of my favorite things that I like to use the um, Neve compressor on, and that's something I can really make sure that I like this unit, is to put it on background vocals, okay? So now the background vocals are a little bit different. The threshold has changed. The, thresh, um, the ratio to, the ratio is at 4.1. The recovery is the same. The attack is fixed the same. And the threshold is just a little bit different. Let's add a negative 26. So let's take a look and listen to these background vocals. And this actually glues the background vocals together. Living on hopes and dreams. Let's compress a little bit more. Living on the fantasies. Really get that radio sound. Living on hopes and dreams. Let's listen to it in the song. Living Here we go. Living on hopes and dreams. A little bit more output gain. I think this unit is pretty nice. So I guess you guys should check it out. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your music. And don't forget, use the Comp 609.